Hey folks, it's Masterpiece, and today I got a Black Series review. It's been a while since I've done any uh, reviews and openings of uh, any Black Series 6 inch action figures. Uh, I kind of got away from the line, um, but I said I would, you know, grab a few that I'd be interested in, only like a couple or like con exclusives. I went to my local hobby store and saw that they had this guy in stock and I really wanted him since they announced it so yeah we got Luke Skywalker from the Imperial Light Cruiser scene still has a wing windowless packaging we're going to be going back to the window packaging pretty soon for the Black Series which is good news uh, I think a lot of people weren't happy about that and got away from the line me included I sold a lot of my stuff but <clears throat> um, Hasbro finally saw that uh, or noticed that that was a bad decision so they're going back to window packaging good news for the Black Series collectors good news for everyone all around so uh, yeah so we're going to open this guy up Luke Skywalker from the Imperial Light Cruiser scene. There's the side mural. There's the back. You can pause it and read it if you want. This is number 30 of the uh, Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian line. They got a lot. A lot of uh, action figures for this line for the series for the Mandalorian series it's crazy but I think they still only have like three or four for Attack of the Clones and probably even less for the Phantom Menace so where are those action figures uh, the side over here just has a picture of what's included inside the box more plastic free packaging details nobody really cares about that There's the bottom, so yeah. All right, so I know this is primarily a vintage collection channel, but like I said before, there was a lot of people that uh, weren't too happy about the win windowless packaging and got away from the line. Were you one of those people? I sold, man, like, 95% of my collection because I'm not really an opener even in the vintage collection line I like I usually buy like two of each figure unless they're like army builders and with the black series I I don't know it's just too much so I just got I just kept them all in the boxes I didn't open that many other than like a few i have like a full shelf full of like bounty hunters and mercenary action figures from the six inch line because that's what i like the most in star wars is uh you know bounty hunters and mercenaries mandalorians and all that kind of stuff those kind of characters to me are a lot uh better than like Jedi and Sith, unless it's like stuff from like the, the Old Republic, like uh, Malgus, Bastila Shan, those I'm really excited for. I'm really excited to get the, my hands on those. Oh, I opened up like a Soka Tano from the Rebel series because I mean it's Ahsoka, but other than that, I keep all my stuff sealed. I ended up selling all that stuff other than like con exclusives and all that kind of stuff. I might show off my collection at some point in a future video but yeah uh i know a lot of people that got away from the black series line and all that stuff started collecting other stuff they wanted to go to marvel legends but marvel legends did the same thing too so anyways uh here it is Skywalker and here's his lightsaber the only accessory that he comes with
All right, so this cloak, Jedi robe thing, soft good, soft goods material. Really nice. Articulation is basic articulation in the line, rocker ankles and all that kind of stuff. Knee. And swivel at the thigh. All kinds of good articulation there. Uh, better articulation than the Vintage Collection one because this part right here uh, oh, and it doesn't have the ball joint uh, hips, unfortunately, but um, <clears throat> the Vintage Collection Imperial Light Cruiser Luke only had like a swivel side to side. This has more, more movement. He could do crunches. Head. Could look down and up. Arm, elbow, and wrist. And same thing on this side, except he has his gloved hand. So, pretty cool. Let me try this hoodie on. These uh, soft goods are very hard to work with sometimes because you know anytime there's soft goods with uh, action figures it doesn't really like hang or drape down low the way you would like it to like this you'd have to like sew it on that way or something but there's his lightsaber of course, this part is removable, and it has a little um, hanger there, so you could just hang it on his belt like so. It looks really good. I think most people are going to pose him with the lightsaber on. There's another pose. The rope can cover his whole entire body, so that looks pretty cool. So last pose. There we go. It definitely looks like Mark Hamill. It looks more like uh, like Mark Hamill from uh, The Empire Strikes Back, more so than anything. At least to me, but they did a good job. Looks good. Great paint app, paint apps. The eyes really pop. You can obviously take this off, just pull it over him and throw it to the side. If you want to have him be more like a uh, Return of the Jedi, Luke Skywalker, you could do that as well.
Yeah, the head sculpt looks more like a Empire Strikes Back Luke Skywalker, while the outfit without the cloak and all that kind of stuff, it uh, looks definitely looks like a Return of the Jedi action figure. It's a good action figure. You could do all kinds of dynamic poses with this action figure too. Display him however you want. I might display him with uh, Darth Vader. I'm sure a lot of uh, people already have this action figure, but I mean, it's Luke Skywalker. He doubles as kind of like a Return of the Jedi action figure and a Mandalorian series action figure. So those two things in and of itself um, will help it sell. It's a great action figure. Good paint apps, especially with the face. In terms of accessories, I mean, he only comes with his lightsaber, but, and this, you know, but, you know, what else would you want with him? In that scene, you don't really uh, see him with anything other than his lightsaber. The Vintage Collection one does come with the DLT blaster, I think it's called. I don't know. I, I can't remember the names of these blasters, but it comes with the blaster that he got from one of Jabba's goons. Um, anyways, good action figure. Must have in anyone's collection. And yeah, that's it for this video. Peace.